Prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates Bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, on this second Sunday of Easter, we continue to celebrate with great joy the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we also celebrate the Feast of the Divine Mercy. And we ask Jesus, our Divine Lord, our God, who is merciful, to look upon us, our families, and especially our country, the Philippines, with compassion and mercy, so that we could be less unworthy to partake of the mysteries of God's love. Let us now humbly acknowledge our sins. Let us ask God's forgiveness, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are meek and humble of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are slow to anger, but rich in compassion. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your love endures forever. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own, Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Many signs and wonders were done among the people at the hands of the Apostles. They were all together in Solomon's portico. None of the others dared to join them, but the people esteemed them. Yet more than ever, believers in the Lord, great numbers of men and women were added to them. Thus, they even carried the sick out into the streets and laid them on cots and mats, so that when Peter came by, at least his shadow might fall on one or another of them. A large number of people from the towns in the vicinity of Jerusalem also gathered, bringing the sick and those disturbed by unclean spirits, and they were all cured. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. I was hard-pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, it is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, your brother, who share with you the distress, the kingdom, and the endurance we have in Jesus, found myself on the island called Patmos, because I proclaimed God's word and gave testimony to Jesus. I was caught up in spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a voice as loud as a trumpet, which said, Write on a scroll what you see. Then I turned to see whose voice it was that spoke to me. And when I turned, I saw seven gold lampstands. And in the midst of the lampstands, one like a son of man, wearing an ankle-length robe, with a gold sash around his chest. When I caught sight of him, I fell down at his feet 
as though dead. He touched me with his right hand and said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last, the one who lives. Once I was dead, but now I am alive forever and ever. I hold the keys to death and the netherworld. Write down, therefore, what you have seen, and what is happening, and what will happen afterwards. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are they who have not seen me, but still believe. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Bring your hand and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief 
you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, today, the second Sunday of Easter, which is also the octave, the eighth day after Easter Sunday, we celebrate the Feast of the Divine Mercy. And our celebration today tells us that our God is a merciful God. Our God is mercy. St. Thomas Aquinas would even say that one of the greatest attributes of God is mercy. And Pope Francis would say that the name of God is mercy. Ang pangalan ng ating Diyos ay awa. But how does God show us His mercy? Paano bang ipinapakita ng Diyos sa atin ang Kanyang awa? Sa marami at iba't ibang paraan. Lahat naman tayo nakaranas ng awa ng Diyos para sa atin. But if we look at our readings this Sunday, we could see some important moments when God shows us His mercy. God shows us His mercy first and foremost by showing up. In our gospel today, we are told that on the evening of that Sunday when Jesus resurrected, even though the doors were locked where the disciples were, Jesus came. Even though the doors were locked, Jesus showed up. Nung araw na yon, na nabalitaan na nila mula sa mga kababaihan na buong tapang na pumunta sa libingan ni Jesus umagang-umaga, na walang laban ng libingan at nabuhay na muli si Jesus. Noong gabing yon, nagkakatipon sila, nakapinid ang mga pinto, may hadlang para makapasok si Jesus. Pero kahit na anong hadlang, nagpakita si Jesus. That is mercy. Mercy is showing up. For how could you be merciful if you do not show up? How could you be merciful if you are always absent? Sa mga magulang na naririto, kapag ang inyong anak ay may pangangailangan, kapag kailangan ng inyong mga anak ang inyong atensyon, ang inyong panahon, ang inyong tulong, pero wala kayo, awa ba yun? Pagmamahal ba yun? Mercy is shown by presence, by showing up, by being there. Hindi pwede yung naaawa ako, pero hanggang pakiramdam lamang ang awa ko. Ang tunay na awa ay yung nagtutulak sa akin 
para lumapit sa mga taong nangangailangan ng aking tulong, tumulong sa mga taong nangangailangan ng aking presensya at panahon, kahit na nakapindid pa ang mga pinto, kahit na may hadlang pa, kahit na maraming dahilan para hindi ako pumunta, I will show up. Because my being there is mercy. That is how God shows His mercy to us. Even though the doors of our hearts are locked, He will be there. He will show up. He will be present because He is mercy. And He will always be merciful to us. The second way that Jesus shows us His mercy is by greeting His disciples, Peace be with you. Yan ang unang bati ng muling nabuhay na si Jesus sa kanyang mga alagad nung araw din na muli siyang nabuhay. Peace be with you. Now, you could just imagine how the disciples felt hearing those words of Jesus. Peace be with you. Alam naman natin ang kwento ni Jesus at ng kanyang mga alagad alam naman natin kung paanong iniwan ng mga alagad na ito sa Jesus nung siya ay dakpin dun sa halamanan ng Getsemani. Alam naman natin kung paanong iniwan nila sa Jesus sa kanyang paghihirap at pagkabayubay sa krus. Alam naman natin kung paanong iniligtas nila ang kanilang sarili at kinalimutan si Jesus. Palagay ko, kaya nga rin sila nagtatago. Hindi dahil lamang takot sila sa mga hudyo. Siguro takot din sila kay Jesus. Kung nababali-balita na namuling nabuhay si Jesus, siguro iniisip ng mga alagad na ito, ano ang mukhang ihaharap natin sa Kanya? They were afraid not only of the Jews, they were afraid to see Jesus. Kasi baka pag nakita sila ni Jesus, sumbatan sila, anong klaseng mga kaibigan kayo? Anong klaseng mga alagad kayo? Pedro, ano yung sinasabi mong iaalay mo pa ang buhay mo para sa akin? Mga wala kayong silbing kaibigan. But what did Jesus tell them? Peace be with you. It was as if Jesus was telling them, We are not enemies. We are friends. Bati na tayo. Hindi tayo magkaaway. Jesus shows us His mercy through healing. Pagpapagaling. And this is also what we saw in our first reading today. When Jesus, through Peter and the other disciples, healed many who are sick. Healing is a sign of God's mercy. Healing not only our physical illness, healing also our wounded relationships like how he healed his relationship with his disciples healing through forgiveness sa kabila ng pagmamalupit ng mga tao kay Jesus sa kabila ng panghuhusga kay Jesus dahil sa mga maling paratang at maling kwentong ipinakala tungkol sa Kanya, 
sa kabila ng ipinagpalit nila sa Jesus sa isang kriminal, sa kabila ng pagkakaisa nila para hilingin ang kamatayan ni Jesus, iniligtas pa rin sila ni Jesus. That is mercy. That is healing. Pinagaling ni Jesus ang lahat sa atin sa kanyang awa na handog niya sa kanyang muling pagkabuhay. And finally, Jesus heals us by making us missionaries of mercy. Yung mga alagad na walang awa na iniwan si Jesus, yung mga alagad na takot na takot makaharap si Jesus, sila pa ang ginawa ni Jesus na tagapagdala ng awa niya sa iba. Jesus tells them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, whose sins you retain are retained. And even for Thomas, the doubting Thomas, Jesus showed his mercy by showing up again, by not leaving Thomas in his unbelief. Pwedeng-pwede namang sabihin ni Jesus, nag-iisa lang naman niyang si Thomas, ba't ko pag ng panahon yan? Pero walang may iwan sa kawala ng pananampalataya. Kahit na para sa isang tao, sa isang hindi naniniwala, darating si Jesus. Papagalingin ni Jesus ang sugat at isusugo ni Jesus upang maging alagad ng awa ng Diyos. In our second reading today, from the book of Revelation, becoming God's missionaries of mercy is shown by the command to John in his vision. Write on a scroll what you see. Isulat mo yung iyong nakita Isulat mo yung iyong naramdaman. Isulat mo yung iyong naranasang awa ng Diyos. At sa pagsusulat nito, na ibabahagi mo sa iba. My dear brothers and sisters, we are also called to be missionaries of mercy. Maging maawain, maging mahabagin sa isa't isa. Sana sa ating mga pamilya na mamayani ang awa. Minsan kung sino pa yung magkakamag-anak, kung sino pa yung magkakadugo, sila pa ang malulupit sa isa't isa. Mamayani nawa ang awa sa ating pamilya. Magkaroon nawa tayo ng awa sa ating kapwa na nangangailangan. Magkaroon nawa tayo ng awa sa ating kalikasan. Huwag na nating sirain pa. At magkaroon nawa tayo ng awa para sa ating minamahal na bayang Pilipinas. Sa mga kumakandidato, pakiusap natin, maawa naman kayo sa amin. Maawa naman kayo sa bansang Pilipinas. Sana wag lamang ang sariling kapakanan, sariling interes ang isipin. Isipin ang makabubuti para sa lahat. Maawa sa bayan. At sa atin pong mga boboto, awa din ang pakiusap sa atin. Maawa tayo sa ating bayan. Bumoto tayo ng tama at matuwid. Bumoto tayo batay sa ating pananampalataya sa Diyos. Huwag nating sabihin magkaiba 
yung aking pagboto sa aking pagiging kristyano, pag ganyan lang nangyari, malupit tayo at walang awa. Bumoto tayo para sa bayan, hindi para sa partido. Bumoto tayo para sa bayan, hindi para sa sino mang kandidato. Bumoto tayo ng may awa para sa Pilipinas. Mga minamahal na kapatid, sa araw na ito na pinagdiriwang natin ang dakila at banal na awa ng Diyos para sa atin, pasalabatan natin ang ating mahabaging Diyos dahil napakamaawain niya sa atin. At tunay na palaging may awa ang Diyos. Sa awa ng Diyos, patuloy tayong nabubuhay. Sa awa ng Diyos, patuloy tayong minamahal. Sa awa ng Diyos, patuloy tayong inililigtas. At san ang awang naranasan natin ay maging awa din na isinasabuhay natin sa konkretong paraan araw-araw. Ipagkatiwala natin ang ating sarili, ang ating pamilya, ang ating lipunan, ang ating bansa at ang buong mundo sa dakilang awa ng Panginoon. Jesus, King of Mercy, we trust in you. Lee Solston. Let us all together profess our faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Unlike Thomas, we are those who have not seen and yet we believe, because we believe in Jesus who rose in our flesh to glory. We pray for others with trust in the God who listens. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Catholic Church may grow through continual proclamation of Christ's victory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the divine mercy may change the hearts and minds of people filled with hatred and conflict. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may worship Jesus in the Eucharist with the words of Thomas, My Lord and my God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19 and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may rise to share the glorious life of their risen Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We also pray for the people who requested our prayers and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Father all-merciful in His own body, Your Son rose to new life. 
Accept the prayers we make in His name, for He is the, la the first and the last, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For He is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, He has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in Your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with His Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May He make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on this constant intercession in your presence, we are alive for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Archbishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, other passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from ignorance, from deceptions and lies, and from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Please all kneel. Behold Jesus, our risen and merciful Lord. Behold him, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Nais nice po namin magpasalamat sa inyong lahat sa pagpunta ngayon sa Manila Cathedral at sa pagdalo sa ating banal na misa ngayong linggo ng umaga. Maraming salamat lalo na po sa ating mga kapatid na matsagang nagsisimba dyan sa labas. Salamat po sa inyong pagpapasensya. At maraming salamat din po sa ating mga kapatid na kasama sa pagdiriwag na ito sa pamamagitan ng live streaming. Salamat din po sa iba't ibang mga social media platforms na nagbabahagi ng ating misa. At salamat din po sa mga staff at uh, servants ng Manila Cathedral na naglilingkod sa atin ngayon. In a special way, I wish to thank our concelebrating priests this morning, Father Clarence Marquez O.P., Rector of uh, Colegio de San Juan de Letran here in Intramuros. Maraming salamat, Father Rector. And thank you also to Father Conrado Mara O.P., Letran Chaplain. Thank you, Father. And we thank our young people, the students of the colleges and universities in Intramuros who are here today for a special activity they call Intramuros. Father Clarence and Father Conrado are here to show our support to this endeavor. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo sa ating misa ngayong umaga at nawa pinalakas ng biyaya ng Diyos sa misang ito ay humayo tayo at ibahagi natin ng awa ng Diyos sa ating mga kapatid lalong-lalo na dito sa Intramuros. Last Friday, the bishops of the Metropolitan Ecclesiastical Province of Manila released a pastoral letter entitled, Narito ang iyong ina. Makikita po natin ang pastoral letter na ito sa ating mga social media platforms at uh, inaanyayahan tayo ng ating mga obispo na magnubena na nine days of praying the Holy Rosary beginning April 30 in order to pray for the coming elections. We are asking the help and intercession of our Blessed Mother who has always been there in special moments, in special occasions in our history. Sana sa panahong ito, tulungan din tayo ni Maria na ating ina. Kaya po sana sa kasama natin, magsama-sama tayo sa pananalangin na ito ng Santo Rosario simula April 30 hanggang May 9 para ipagdasal ang ating halalan. At nawa po ay pagpalain ng Panginoon itong bagong linggo na haharapin nating lahat. Nawa araw-araw maranasan natin ang awa ng Diyos. At araw-araw din maibahagi natin ang awang ito sa bawat isa. Please stand for the blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by His blessings now and forever. Amen. May He, whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance now and forever. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with Him in the homeland of heaven forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, 
and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of the risen Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 Hallelujah.